Okay, so before everyone start, I just want to say I love the film, and congratulations, guys. It was really great. Thank, Thank you. you. But to start things off, how do you guys prepare for your roles? Um, well, we both shadowed at a facility um, and got to spend some time on the floor with, um, I got to shadow a woman, he got to sh shadow a man. <laughs> and uh, we got to spend some time kind of picking their brains as well. Um, and I don't know, and then we kind of created our own mythology. Uh, we went to dinner together and Destin gave us an envelope with little pieces of paper of conversation starters. And so we got to ask each other questions and learn more about each other and, and create a backstory for our relationship. Sweet. All right, so were you guys familiar with Destin's work beforehand? Um, I was. We had met really briefly, and he didn't remember and still doesn't remember that we met. <laughs> <laughs> it was my first, uh, two years ago was my, my first uh, chant, my first acceptance into Sundance, and it was actually with a short that I wrote and directed. And so the, I got to go to this like filmmaker initiation uh, kickoff party, and I was so excited because I had never been to Sundance and then I got in for something that I had created myself and they gave me this this name tag you know hello my name is and I put my project on it the arm and I just remember kind of just like looking around and feeling like I didn't know if I was gonna get kicked out or not and um, he was at the bar and I just thought he was so funny because his his tag said I am not a hipster and I thought it just looked so comical and so it just always stuck in my brain and I think I tried to make conversation with him and he kind of just went hmm <laughs> and walked away and I was like ah oh, I really am not a director <laughs> and um, then about a year later I received the script for for short term 12 and along with the short film and and I am not a hipster and and then became even more familiar with his actual work. So that leads me to my next question. Did you guys watch the short film as a reference point? Like how did you take that? I watched it <clears throat> less um less as a reference point and more of just uh, I think they had sent it to to say like take a look at some of this some of the previous work. This is the this is what it's kind of based on and seeing the changes from the short to the feature, um, I thought the changes were really really smart and really interesting and in a way it wasn't so much that it was making the short into a, a, a longer movie. It was like making a longer movie that was based on the short. So they felt very different. But from the eight minutes or however long that short is, um, that was one of the moments where I thought, well, I absolutely have faith in this director. What he was able to do in that short amount of time was so impressive that I thought, I'm, you know, I totally trust this guy. I'm on board. All right, so both of you guys did a great job of balancing the lighthearted tones with the comedic elements, or sorry, the lighthearted tones with the dark elements mm -hmm. of the film, which is, I thought was amazing. Was it challenging to maintain that balance? Not go overboard and make it sense, I don't I think so. No, it was something that there was, it just kind of, we, there was, from day one, there was almost just kind of this thing where it was like, oh, this is the vibe. This is the movie mm -hmm. that we're making. And so as long as we just kind of plugged ourselves into that, it, it was stuff that just came very naturally. And I think that life is funny. And sometimes we don't realize it, but I think the sincerity of things sometimes become funny in ways that we <laughs> don't realize. And I'm... Destin actually has finds me quite funny, and I don't understand. I th he thinks that, you know, and so he's through this process. I think that he has an incredible sense of humor and is able to kind of, from his perspective, see the humor and sometimes in certain situations that we can't see because we're living it. So yeah, the short term twelve deals with a lot of really heavy themes, you know, like abuse and specifically child abuse. Uh, why was it important for you guys to be a part of that a film that addresses that subject? Um, it was important to me because it's something that I was kind of distantly aware of but wasn't wasn't fully understanding of the way that that system works. Um, and speaking with Destin and doing more research and reading the script um, and then especially being on, on the floor and, and meeting these kids and these incredible line staff that are with them every day, I just wanted to do right by them. I felt so empowered and strengthened and, and inspired by them. Um, and I thought if I felt that way, then, then perhaps if I did my job good enough that other people could, could see and feel the same. Okay, to wrap it up, um, how is working on a smaller production and a more intimate film as this as opposed to larger production? Uh, it depends. Um, I think it depends on the situation, but I'd say with Short Term 12 in particular, um, because it was a small film but about a very sensitive and empowering subject matter, 
I felt like every single person that was there was there because they believed in the story and wanted to tell this story honestly and with as much love as possible. There wasn't anybody that was there for a paycheck because there wasn't one, really. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it creates a really incredible environment of no one had to be there, but we were there because we loved it. Mm -hmm.